if you think I stand alone, look behind me. Afari Dennis Meadows at the Toulon North Constituency Conference on Sunday night. He is blasting the government for its decision to reserve comments on the Integrity Commission's probe into six parliamentarians for illicit enrichment. He first took aim at Prime Minister Andrew Honus. This, as his declarations for 2021 has not been certified by the Commission. We have a head of government and a head of cabinet whose declaration from 2021 is yet to be certified by the Integrity Commission. No wonder, no wonder they were lucky though. He also criticized civil society groups for being too lenient on the Prime Minister and not holding him to account. If they respect the Jamaican people and they want to be taken seriously, they must immediately ask of the Prime Minister, demand of the Prime Minister, what happened to your declaration? Why is that certified? He further noted that the Integrity Commission has a public duty to say why the head of government's declarations have not been certified despite the current gag clause in the Integrity Commission Act. I ask respectfully of the Prime Minister, you must come forward and tell us who those six persons are. And more importantly, I want the end of government of this country. I want the end of cabinet of this country. I want the prime minister of this country. Tell us whether or not he is one of the six. Hi, what's up my beautiful people? What's up, what's up my lovely people? Thank you for keep coming back to this channel, Life with Jennifer. Uh, I see that you're understanding me now and you keep coming back. Yes, and I'm loving that. Anyway, my viewers and my friends and my subscribers. In this video, I want to ask, Honorable Andrew Olness, Prime Minister of our lovely, beautiful island of Jamaica, Mr. Brogard. Because you see, I believe these people who are in authority take us all for some idiot to you know. Or they believe so we don't have no sense. Even if we never have the sense, we are living in an age now that is called the scientific age. Where at the tip of a finger, information is available. So you don't have to wait till when you hear the, uh, the mailman come and hear bing, 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 ling, 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 with one bell and you say, Lord, your heart jump out and you say, Lord God, I wonder what kind of telegram that now. I wonder who did you now, and Lord Jesus, and you start prick before you even go collect it. The man rings so long because you're in there have heart failure before you go. Some of you don't understand that. We're from the old school. So we are privileged you now to have information and at the tip of our finger. Just press anything. Quick time you get information. Now, the Prime Minister has a, been certified by the Integrity Commission from 2021. So the election was 20. And then, or here after that, he has not been certified. 22 come, and he's still not yet been certified. And then 23 so close. And we could have almost said, he's still not been certified. And just going around as if it is just the norm. And when it was coming out in the media to surface about the whole thing, they run to parliament and pass a bill to put a gag order so nobody can ask nobody no question or nobody can talk oh come on now oh how can, how can we how can you angle situation that way sir 
So we need you to come forward to let us know. And for all well thinking Jamaicans, and not talking to the people that were die hearted because they never see truth. I'm talking about people who have knowledge and understand that these parliamentarians as a requirement that they have to file every year. And I think that's for every jurisdiction. Every year you have to make an annual return. You have to talk about your asset. You have to talk about your investment. So that the Integrity Commission can see if with the salary where you're working and with other business that you may have, if it is actually happening. That means that we are tracking you or you're spending our taxpayers' money. So it's fair for us to know. So, Mr. Prime Minister, why is it up to now, your 2021 statutory declaration is not certified? We need to know. Why is 2022 not certified? We need answers. We need to know. Sir, if you cannot answer the Jamaican people this question, you must come to the forefront and speak to the people if there's an excuse let the people know stop keep the people in darkness let us know so well you know there was an error or something or it is not my fault you know it's the integrity commission who have not done it or something but why is it the leader of the opposition can come out and declare that is a certified is it that come on the opposition can show and it is as has been said that within one of his realty investment he make a profit of 50 million and it and that is in the domain so everybody know so why we can know about the prime minister the head of state the head of government in this country why Sir, we need to know. I am waiting on you to come and let the Jamaica people know what is happening with you, sir, and your statuary certification of leading this awesome country. And if you cannot come and tell us anything, the honorable thing for you to do is to step aside until it's sorted out. I don't know who you're going to put in place because I don't know if I really miss a chance you're going to leave there either because sometimes all him do is sleep. I don't know who you're going to put there. Well, maybe, um, where the minister name? The one we love for talk. I don't know where you're going to, but you need to do something. So I'm waiting on you to come forward and to declare yourself to the Jamaican people. My viewers and my friends and my newcomers, thank you for watching.